Okay, on my video I've already got the 3D camera tracker set up and from that I was a, I created my 3D camera and a null and with both of those selected I can run the After Effects 3D export script to export the camera to Maya <coughs> excuse me, Max for Lightwave. I'm going to use Lightwave and let's call this and export this to, this is going to export to my desktop so I'm just going to move this into my other folder and then in Lightwave we can open this up and see what we get by default and if we bring in our image sequence load And set up a composition to be that sequence and display it in our camera. We can see that that point transferred over and our camera is animated and that point follows just like it did in After Effects. But the problem you see here is that our ground plane and white wave is nowhere close to the ground that we were using to make our null and After Effects. So what we need to do is we need to before we export the camera out from After Effects we need to set that null up to be our origin point in 3D space. Because you see when I created it, it created it in its own position based on where it had the camera. So before I start changing the numbers I want to just kind of orientate it. I'm going to drag this box out for a minute to help me fit it in here. I'm just going to rotate it on the Z so it fits so that the X is lined up kind of close to this line and the Y is, is parallel to this line. And if I try this a little more I can check it. So that's going to be close enough for right now, I think. And I'm just going to set that scale back down to 100. And then, well, before we change the rest of the numbers on the null, we want to parent the camera to the null so that as we rotate it and move it to the origin it takes the camera with it so that it's still all correctly lined up. So all you need to do is just change the position to zero and the rotation to zero and actually there's one thing I forgot. So you can see right now that um, our Z is perpendicular to where we're we want the ground plane to be. Now that should work for 3D Studio Max, but for Lightwave and, and Maya, Y should be perpendicular to the ground plane. So I'm going to unparent this again for a second while we'll I fix the null. And to fix it, all I, can, I need to do is just rotate on the x axis 90 degrees, and then our Y is perpendicular to where we want the ground to be. But we still want to set all these things back to zero with the cameras parented back. And then we can unparent the camera again. Now when we export both the null and the camera using that same script for Lightwave. In fact, this time I'm going to even go into the options and uncheck shift the comp center and the four views for new Maya scene. And the world scale uh, worked for Lightwave just fine. Um, if you're having trouble in Max or Maya, that might help uh, set up your space a little bit better. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it as is, and we'll call this our second one. Export that. And that in my 
folder. And then in white wave, I'm just going to import those load from scene both the null and the camera. So now I've got both the nulls in here. But if we switch over to our new camera, you can see that the ground plane now lines up with our video better. And if we were to bring in an object like um, object like a box you can see that it now fits into the video much better than if it did in the first camera so the first camera that box is just floating but now that we fixed our origin point it's lined up to where we need it so I hope that helps.